Hi everyone, I'm Anushree from HCL Digital Experience Portal team and in this video we will see how to create a WC inventory and how to add it to a WC Authority portal. Let me start by logging into the portal server. Now you can create a WC inventory by going to the portal admin page. Over here navigate to portal content and to that web content libraries. Over here you can see a list of already existing WC inventories. Let's start by clicking on create new library button. We give a name to our text library. I'll give a description. Now this localization, you can click this to select a text provider plugin and key. Next, you can select the language of your WCM library and select from this list. Now point to remember here, this option can be set only on creation. You cannot change the language of a library after the library is created. Now the next key is three options. If you want to prevent the library from being deleted, you need to select this option of prohibit library from being deleted. If you want a library to be available immediately after being created, you can select this option of enable. To add a set of default web content items to the library when it is created, you need to select this option of include default items in the new library. For now, I will only keep the enabled option as selected. Click on OK. You can see a message here saying successfully created a new library in the Excel. You can also see it in the list of existing WCM uh, libraries. Over here, you can see a few options like you can edit this library or you can set user and group permissions and accesses on this library from here. You can set permissions on the item types for this web content library. You can even delete this library. A few more options. You can apply version label, restore the library by day, restore the library by label. So this is how we can create a WCM library. Now you need to add the new library to the list of configured libraries for each authoring portlet that requires access to the new library including authoring portlets and servers that you subscribe your library to. For this, now let us move on to the web content authoring portlet. I click on content, web content authoring. So I am in an authoring portlet. Here, you will not see the library we created right now. To be able to add this library to this list so that it is available by default, go to the preferences section, expand it, here you can see two options, configure and edit share settings. Now libraries that are selected by using the configure view are available on all instances of the authoring portal, regardless of the page on which the portal appears. Libraries that are selected with the edit share settings view are only available for the current instance of an authoring portal. Now for this video, I'll just click on edit share settings. You can go on library selection. This is the list of available libraries. From this, I will select the library we created right now and simply click on add. You can also move it up or down depending on your requirement. And then click on OK. So now you can see this library in your authoring portlet. Now, a point to remember if you are sedating or importing a library, it is not automatically added to the list of configured libraries for an authoring portlet on the target server. Using this method, you need to add the syndicated or imported library to each or three portlet on each server. That is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.